We're Craig and Kirsty, a British couple who left everything to travel the world in 2020, right before the global pandemic hit. After exploring a few countries in Europe, we're now back in the UK exploring closer to home, before we head off for more international travels soon. Join us as we show you around this corner of the world. Welcome to the second episode of our UK tour. Today we are in Wales. Wales. So we're still in the UK, but we're officially on to country number seven. Yep, we're exploring the very southwesternmost point of Wales. We're in Pembrokeshire, and more specifically, we're exploring the beautiful coastal town of Tenby. That's Tenby, you can see behind us there with all the beautiful multicolored pastel houses. And the sea is looking gorgeous today. Let's go and explore. See what we can see. <laughs> With its strategic position on the far west coast of Britain and a natural sheltered harbour from both the Atlantic Ocean and the Irish Sea, Tenby was a natural settlement point. The earliest reference to a settlement at Tenby is from the 9th century. A few hundred years later, Tenby was taken by the Normans when they invaded West Wales in the early 12th century and built the town's first stone wall fortification, Tenby Castle. Tenby's mercantile trade grew as it developed as a major seaport and by the late 13th century, after several attacks on the area, William de Valence, 1st Earl of Pembroke, ordered the construction of the Tenby town walls. The imposing medieval town walls still remain today, but only a small keep tower of the castle remains here. The classic postcard view of Tenby Harbour, lined with its pretty pastel painted houses, is from the Norton, a road that runs along the cliff top above Tenby North Beach. If you plan to visit Tenby, the tide times are important. This is because during high tide, the beach completely disappears due to the vast tidal range in this tiny corner of Wales. really beautiful sandy beaches in this part of the UK and it's also got one of the most extreme tidal ranges in the world um, so we're now just going to walk through the harbour because the tide's out. I hope we find something for lunch. <laughs> yeah we're pretty hungry now just walking amongst all the beautiful pastel colour houses and we're going to head into town there's also an old castle wall to go and walk along and I think we're going to go and take a closer look at the lifeboat stations as well, of which there's two. Let's go and grab some food.
So after wandering around Tembi, there's a few things that we've both noticed. First of all, we just got some lunch and the people here are really friendly, really nice, lovely Welsh people here. And secondly, the seagulls here in Tembi are absolutely savage. We just witnessed some poor woman getting like swooped by a seagull and nearly having something stolen out of her hand. I know seagulls do that everywhere, but they are massive here, poor woman. Um, and I know this is controversial and people have different feelings about accents, but we just love the Welsh accent. I'm going to try at some point today uh, and see if we can uh, get, get someone speaking, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, let us know in the comments below, what's your favourite accent? Tenby is one of the most iconic and well-visited seaside towns in Wales. The centre of Tenby is a maze of narrow streets that are pedestrianised during summer, when the bars and restaurants set up al fresco seating, and there are also plenty of interesting and quirky shops to wander around. We were pleased to see the early morning clouds disappearing, making way for a lovely bit of Welsh sunshine. But as much as we enjoyed wandering around this little cute seaside town, it was such a busy day with people everywhere, we grabbed a quick lunch that we couldn't even film due to the crowds before quickly making our way to the seafront. So we've just walked through the walled main town of Tembi and as you may have noticed it's pretty busy <laughs> at the moment. Busy little place. <laughs> yeah, partly due to the situation. Obviously with uh, Covid pretty much everyone's locked in the UK at the moment. So. And also there's a big football game going on at Wales today. So. Yeah, and I'm now in the hedge. It's <laughs> <laughs> just got so narrow. I'm going to drop back. <laughs> so we're walking through from near where we parked on North Beach. Uh, through to Castle Beach. It's a lovely raised promenade with views out across the sea. So we're just going to go and take a look and to our left you can see the old castle wall. It's really pretty. just come to the Esplanade and after walking around the cute little streets of Tembi, look at this beautiful water here. Who knew the UK looked like this, hey? <laughs> so you've got the beautiful sandy beach here and crystal clear sea and you can take a few boat trips here from Tembi out to the islands uh, and seal watch, uh, various things like that. We don't have time to do that today but they look like a great thing to do here. Um, 
Yeah, just wandering around Tenby. Beautiful. We're just heading back to the car to see stop number two and it just occurred to me that this is not country number seven at all it's country number eight england in the previous video is of course country number seven forgot about our own country <laughs> so here we are in wales country number eight because <laughs> we started in russia which was country number one even though we flew from england to russia we didn't count england before so it has to count in the previous video <laughs> We're back at the car, time to head to stop number two. Join us next time as we continue our Welsh tour and head over to the dramatic coastline of Barrafundal Bay before taking a look around Pembroke Castle. If you can't wait that long, head over to our Instagram at Tide Not Travellers for daily updates on what we're currently up to and what's coming up in our future videos. <laughs> and then there's a couple of boat trips you can take here and we're in there's a couple of boat trips 